What's going on everybody, Respawn Gentleman here. So today I'm going to show you how you can actually access the Bloody Ties DLC area and all the information you need right at the beginning. Let's get to it. So starting off, once you kind of have access to the DLC, which should be later today or, you know, if you're watching this after today, then, you know, you should already have access to it if you've purchased it or have the Deluxe Ultimate Edition of the game. Uh, but the first thing you'll do is you'll get kind of like a radio message that'll tell you to go to the Baptistry. So the Baptistry is actually the swimming pool right over here in Quarry End. Um, it's kind of just south of the main terminal station, kind of like southeast. And you'll see over here, there's like all these signs and stuff kind of promoting the uh, arena a little bit. Um, you can kind of see here. You will have some quest lines that kind of go through this. Uh, one thing I will say is that you will take anywhere from about an hour to possibly two hours before you actually gain access to the DLC area. Now you could get it done faster, but just from what my experience and what I've heard from others, it can take roughly about that amount of time to get through all the quests that you need to get through um, in order to access the DLC area. Now I would highly recommend waiting to start this DLC until after you've reached the central loop, because although you can access it as soon as you complete the only way out mission, which is the ver very first mission after the prologue, um, there will be a time where you do have to go over to the downtown area in order to climb a tower. And uh, if you don't have access to the downtown area, it's going to be kind of difficult to do that. So I would highly recommend waiting till then. And then eventually when you progress through the quests even more, you'll unlock this fast travel point to Carnage Hall. And then I will go ahead and uh, basically without kind of giving too much away, uh, there'll be this van that you can go to and it opens up to a completely separate area. So this is actually the DLC area. This is the map of the DLC area. Um, you can't zoom out any further than this. So this is as far as you'll go and you can't kind of go further than these little borders. So you can't see Villador on the map itself. But if you kind of come to this area on the map kind of towards the bottom, you can actually see the VNC tower. So this does put the DLC in Elysium. However, this is the only accessible part. You cannot go outside of it, at least from initial looking at it you can't go outside to get on these bridges and kind of explore it's basically you have this whole area on the outside and the inside of the arena and that's it you cannot go outside of this at all so this is what the area looks like if you want to get back to villador you just need to go right back to the van and you can switch back to villador so you're not stuck here once you come here you can go back and forth um, like I said, there's areas to explore outside, uh, and then this is what kind of what it looks like on the inside, just to show you a couple things here. I'll go into more detail on this on other videos, um, but you can see just kind of the way this one looks, like, I just, I don't know, I really like the way it looks. I think it's super cool, a nice area, all the, the bright colors, flashing lights, <laughs> um, kind of like you can see, like, people are being entertained, this guy's doing handstand because he can, I guess, <laughs> um, you have like your vendors over here, so there's uh, your regular vendor, your trader, your uh, craft master, and then the special vendor that is your Carnage Hall rewards vendor, which I'll have a whole video discussing all the rewards and how to get them and all that good stuff. Um, and then just kind of exploring this first area, uh, you'll unlock kind of more areas to go as you go through the DLC. Um, but that's kind of the main things to do in here is, uh, is just kind of those and then once, like I said, once you progress through the story, you can make it back here and start doing the actual uh, like activities and challenges and things like that, uh, which will kind of show you a little bit back here. Um, again, I'm not going to really show you too much because, again, that'll be for more videos. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what the whole area looks like. And um, personally, I think it's really cool. It's filled with a lot of NPCs. I like the design of it. Um, I think they did a really good job with the way this one looks and the fact that they kept it a separate area means that they didn't have to add more assets to the actual map which would mean that it would probably break the game even more so uh, I'm actually kind of glad that they didn't break the game so far I haven't really experienced any bugs with the game but again that's there's another video I'll talk about uh, kind of a whole review of the whole thing but yeah this is what the DLC area looks like. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Dying Light content, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.